Welcome sa sipnain.com. This video is summarize ko na yung ating uh, tangent problem, no? So sabi natin kung malala niyo yung uh, screen na ito, no? Yung uh, problem na yan sa calculus 1.01 ay um iniskas natin yung dalawang klase ng problem sa pinanggalingan ng calculus, no? The first one is the tangent problem na pinanggalingan ng uh, differential calculus at yung area problem na pinanggalingan ng uh, integral calculus no so uh, ang gagawin natin dito sa video na to ay uh, uh, i-discuss natin ulit kung ano ba yung tangent problem briefly at i-summarize natin kung ano yung method na ginawa natin para ma-solve yung problem na to no? so yung area problem babalikan natin yan pagdating natin ng integral calculus now uh, sa tangent problem sabi natin meron tayong tangent uh, meron tayong function f no and a line, line L, tangent to function f at p. Now, yung pinaka-problem natin is we want to find the slope of the line tangent to the function at p. Ibig sabihin, we want to find the slope of line L. Kaso, uh, hindi natin siya makukuha kasi ang, ang given lang na point, ang coordinates lang na given dyan ay point p. No? Yan lang pwede natin kunin na coordinates. And alam natin sa slope formula that the slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, where x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2 are coordinates of two points. So, two points ang kailangan mo pag kumuha ka na slope, no? At least. But here, we only have one point. Kaya yun ang problema natin. Yan yung tinatawag natin na tangent problem, which became the source of, or which became the origin of uh, differential calculus. Now, ano yung ginawa natin for the past uh, ilang videos yan? Seven or eight? Seven videos? So, ang ginawa natin was to uh, uh, let me transfer to another uh, diagram. So, it's the same. No? Uh, general naman yung function natin. So, it doesn't matter what's the shape. No? So, here we have the function f. No? Ito yung line L natin kanina. Ito yung point P natin. So, hindi natin makuha ng isang point lang. So, ang ginawa natin, the method of the mathematicians, yung ginawa ng mathematicians is to uh, construct another point on the function. So, yung Q, for example. No? May fix na tayo na point P, di ba? Yun yung, yun yung fixed point natin kung saan dumadala, dumadaan yung tangent line. Na gumawa tayo ng, ng Q on the function F, another point. Tapos, kinuha natin yung slope ng line PQ. Kinonect natin yung P at Q with a line and then we, we uh, compute or right, we calculate for the slope. No? So if we let A be the X coordinate of P then uh, the Y coordinate, its Y coordinate is F of A. Diba? So yan ang ginawa natin. So ang P natin, ang coordinates natin ay A, F of A. No? Remember, fixed point yan. Ha? Hindi natin ito binabari. No? So, pag nakapili na tayo ng 3, hindi na natin yan babaguhin. Ang binabari natin itong Q. Kasi, sabi nga natin, PQ is actually, the slope of PQ is not the slope of line L, di ba? Magkaiba yan. Pero, magiging malapit na malapit yan sila if we, uh, if we drag Q towards P, lalapit tong line na to papunta dito. No? So, kung napanood din yung mga previous videos natin, meron tayong uh, animation dyan. Hmm. Sa so, GeoGebra, let me check kung pwede pa nating kunin. Pwede pa nating i-open. Uh, just be patient. Let me open the file. Okay. I think this is the file. Okay, so ito yun, no? Uh, ito yung ginawa natin. We have uh, the the line uh, with this, the red line is line L, and then this uh, green is a uh, function, and then ito yung point P natin. Fix siya dito x equals to asha, di ba? So ang gagawin natin is we uh, we uh, we move P towards uh, we ma move Q towards P, and then kung makita nyo yung dumalapit yung uh, line PQ dun sa red line no habang palapit ng palapit no and from there no oops sorry 
So from there, ang mangyayari is that uh, pag malapit na malapit na yung Q sa P, halos pareho na sila ng slope. No? Yung PQ, halos pareho na sila ng slope ng line L. No? So here, our the, the slope of PQ is kunin muna natin yung uh, uh, bago natin ni compute we have to uh, uh, find the coordinates of Q which is here X F of X no? so binabari natin kaya X yung ginamit natin kaya hindi tayo gumamit no? Ito, itong A tsaka F of A fixed yan diba? so pag nakakuha ka na ng point like 3 3 F of 3 yun na yun ito binabari natin kasi nilalapit natin siya sa P so, if we let this y sub 2, y sub 1, tapos x sub 2, x sub 1, then our slope is uh, y sub 2, f of x, minus f of a, over x minus a. Ito ba yung slope ng, ano, ng, ng tangent line? No, no. Uh, this is the slope of the secant line of PQ. But to estimate the to uh, approximate. No? Ito na yung solution natin sa problem, no? sa tan tangent problem. To approximate slope slope of of line L, no? we uh, we make X as we make you approaches as we make u as close to p as possible, we want x to be very close to a. We make x very close to a. Pag very close to a na yan, then halos pareho na sila ng, ng, uh, ng uh, slope ng l, which means na makuha na rin natin yung slope ng l no? by making x very close to Okay, so yan yung summary ng tangent problem natin. No? At uh, yan yung uh, pinaka-solution. No? So, gawa ka ng another point, gawa ka ng secant line, kunin mo yung slope na secant line, and then you make x very close to a. Yan yung pinaka-solution. Ang tanong, ganyan na ba yung solution talaga? Of course, ano yan, no? isa yan sa konsepto ng solutions. But later, makikita natin that uh, may out of this, no, makakuha tayo ng, or makaka-develop tayo ng formula. Yun ang pag-uusapan natin sa limits at sa derivative. Particular sa derivative, no, makikita nyo sa derivative, mayroong pagkakawag yung mga formula dun dito. No? At yan ang i-discuss natin sa susunod na video. Yung another uh, form of this formula. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.